we have any other shoe guys in the office right now? We are live. Yep. Bop, bop, bop. I don't know. I was thinking, do we have any other shoe guys? This is um, his brother. What's your brother's name again? Matt. Matt, right? Matt um, stubbed his toe this morning. Couldn't make it. He had a stomach ache, he said. <laughs> he couldn't make it. I was trying to think, is anybody else in that that's big on shoes that's probably here right now? Make you go grab. What? I don't know. No, no, keep going. I'm just talking. <laughs> so, Jake, on this right here, yeah, uh, on this on my board up here, uh huh, we should be able to see all the comments as they're coming in, right? Yeah. And did you put me on AC Sports thread? Yes, you're on AC Sports and your YouTube channel. And well, Instagram won't be there because that she she has that one up. Yep, over there. Because you you can't figure out passwords in your world. No. Nope. Ba, 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 ba. So, will that account actually help us? What can it do? What? The, like, if get a Jordan account or whatever. Oh. Well, if you can get some new releases. Look at those. Should we be on Twitch? We should start being on Twitch. Do you have a Twitch account? Uh, no, but we can open one. Yeah, let's get one. Okay, Jake. See if by in a week from now, a week, you can open a Twitch. I can do that. You give me seven days. Definitely can do it. What was the other one? Go back to it if you can for a second. Periscope. God. I forgot when that one came out. What's Periscope? <laughs> that one came out for a while and like, uh, I think people still use it, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. I'm going to go check okay. YouTube. But it's through custom RTMP oh, sorry. is sorry. where we'd be able to do so it. I'm really waiting on the AC Sport side for those guys to join on it. So even that's... even when I stream, uh, Insta won't let us see the comments. So, Noel, do you think are you saying you think it'd be better to start that one over? I'm just trying to give them time to get on. They 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 just the office is happening on Instagram because it goes pops right up right on the yeah, front. So it's it really, nobody's going to join. Now. All right. We'll let it yeah just turn that one off then and reboot yeah. it in like 60 seconds then they come right there that's right alex i have freaking lost some weight buddy I look like a freaking brand new stud in here i need to get sold out for some for some stud fees i think alex right. total huh oh i'm listening oh. go ahead um that'd be a first for wally <laughs> listening <laughs> <laughs> It'd be a freaking first for his life, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Alex. I think I. I think I've uh, dropped like uh, probably close to fifty pounds uh, so far. You and, on the, you on the zone? Yeah. So I just cranked it up again. Uh, February first to February. I do the probably the whole month of February, but for sure to February twenty first because I can have a big event on the twenty first, and uh, I was trying to drop like another you know, ten to fifteen. I dropped five pounds in the first three days. And I'm thinking about selling my diet product. Uh, it's one of the best diet products out there that what, I think can really take off. What are you doing? Well, I don't want to give out the secret yet, but how I've lost 50 no, pounds is, <laughs> I, is, no, it's super easy. Mm. And for $99 a month, I'm willing to tell you how I've lost 55 pounds for $99 a month, one time fee of $1,000 up front. No, dude, I just don't eat. It's super easy. You starve yourself? I just don't eat. <laughs> I just quit eating. So I, I I was doing a lot of intermittent fasting, and then I went to, um, uh, when I started losing a lot of weight, you go intermittent, and it's like you don't eat for 16 hours and eat for eight, and then don't eat for 16, eat for eight. And as you get better at it, then you can go like, don't eat for... 20 hours and eat for four you know, 20 and four etc wait hold on so within that window you are eating how much do you eat people, people do it both ways but like say you're doing a, a 20 hours of no eating uh -huh. that's including sleeping right yeah uh and then four hours of eating uh people do it most time people do it where you can eat whatever you want to eat like just for four hours you're grubbing for four hours you can eat as much as you freaking can the, what happens is you can only eat so much food like your your body's like okay i'm stuffed like i can't eat more yeah. Right. And, and you had this like big meal of pizza and, and ice cream. Yeah. It's X amount of calories, but in four hours later, you're not hungry yet. Like you're still full. Do you think that works? hundred percent, dude. Intermittent hundred percent. 
Really? And it gives your body time to digest, which is the biggest thing that's helped me. When you go 16 hours, which is a little bit more realistic, 16 hours not eating and then eat for eight. 16 and then eat for eight. When you don't eat for 16 hours, your body is able to catch up and like process everything that you everything that you shove down its throat basically and digest it. Like mm. eating three times a day is something that the freaking FDA came up with to make grocery sales go up, in my opinion. Um so and then when you want to, and then as you get better intermittent, you can like pick a day and then fast in a 24 hour day period and, and then go back the next day, go back to 16 and eight or whatever. So what are you doing right now? So I'm doing, um, about 50 some odd hours straight of not eating. It's like Sunday night to Wednesday morning. I won't eat. So when I eat dinner Sunday night, <laughs> the look on your face is so good. It's a pure disappointment. <laughs> yeah, I'll go like when, like I thought I, you were making a joke. No, no. I like when I eat dinner Sunday night, which I, I eat at a place called Twigs <laughs> Sunday night, and then I went all the way until um, Wednesday morning, and then I eat breakfast, and then I won't eat again until dinner. So like I didn't that that bar was the first thing I eat all day, and 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 I normally wouldn't eat until actual dinner tonight. I didn't eat dinner until last night, but uh, are you drinking water? I was getting sick all this? a little bit, bucked up. <laughs> Energy <laughs> drink, bucked up. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I drink water and Gatorade Zero. Okay, I like that. So I, I drink water, Gatorade Zero, and then during the daytime, I'll, I'll live off of bucked up. Um, are you grouchy? No. Do I look seem grouchy? I yeah. mean, Jake's stuff always bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this dude, this dude can't. You tear in the wall. I, I don't. I don't even know why he, on his resume he put executive, or he put you know, videographer. He should have put cartoon drawer. I can do that too. I'm sure you could, buddy. Wally's <laughs> Wally's a Renaissance man. Yeah. You should put Fortnite professional Fortnite player. Have I haven't played? played yet. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna better qualify for that. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about some shoes, bro. Uh, we have got uh, four pairs of shoes. One pair is a pair that we're giving away. Uh, let me make sure. Hey, Sean. Make sure Noel's got us on Instagram. Hey, Noel. Okay, here's Noel. What? <laughs> hey, are we on Instagram? What is playing with my phone? <laughs> I don't know what it's doing. I said, hey, Noel, and that's what it did. I swear to God. That's my thing. That's my thing. Yes. That's weird. I think the app just randomly opened. Freaking out. That was very interesting. So uh, while we're waiting on uh, jump on that one, um, have you got any closer, any more updates on your store? Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Opening up April. Oh, really? Yeah. April's. Op so you already got like a building? Uh huh. Space is under construction. Really? That was fast, like in a week, bro. Yeah. Websites under construction. So where can you release where the store's going to be? It's going to be in Orem, Utah. Orem, Utah. Yeah. Uh, so you've already got the the building under lease then mm -hmm. three years yep you had to do a three-year lease on it yeah uh and then you're doing the build out right now mm -hmm. how many square feet you got um i don't know exactly probably around two thousand. yeah it's probably normal is it like a strip mall type thing um no it's not a strip mall but it's right off of uh state street that's my jam boy that's where i that's where i live i'll just walk there it's close to your crib yeah is it really yeah uh, I almost thought I was I actually that night that last time we did the show, I told I, I drove by because in underneath my units, there's like three buildings for a lease yeah. right there. Yeah. I almost told you like, dude, that'd be a cool spot. It would, you yeah. You wouldn't get you wouldn't get highway traffic as much. Yeah. But there's a lot of college kids in there. Yeah. The, the problem is you said there's no like uh street view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Space is available. Yeah, it's all like in the back side of it. Or whatever. So the visibility would be a little tough, and the parking is a little tough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's a little bit tough for the parking. It's not a problem in our place. 
So you got no parking issues. No parking issues. Yeah. You're doing it at a church parking lot. <laughs> Pretty much. So you got um, Wally. You can bring your RV up and just <laughs> if you need to stay there. You've got you got your new store under contract, uh, and it open mid April or something like that. You're gonna yeah. open it up. Yeah. Nervous? No, man. No. Just, no. We're excited. Yeah. We got a lot of pairs on ice right now. Well, you're about to be down one. Yeah. That you had an ice that I'm getting today. Yeah. I'm going to steal it from you today. Good for you. I'm excited for you. I'm not going to steal it. I'm going to buy it from you, actually. So it's a good, it's well, a good it's win a, for both of us. It's a sick pair. Um, so your brother Matt couldn't make the show today because uh, of, uh, you said dental? Yeah. So apparently he has something really rare happen. Um, he was getting work done on a crown. Yeah. And uh, you know how they blow the air on it to dry your tooth and blow away any blood or anything that's coming out. Okay. So they're blowing on his tooth, trying to get the glue to set. And what can happen sometimes is the air can go through and into your face. And so he had, he had to go to the ER. <laughs> no way. Uh -huh. They inflated his face. Yeah. So wow. it was like all swollen. Yeah. They so like blew up his face where it's like extended with air. Yeah. Like air pocket. If yeah. You know. Yeah. So he called, he left the dentist and he called his friend who's a dentist. Yeah. He's like, yo, like, I, my face kills, bro. Oh, so like, they didn't even tell me the dentist. No, happened. no, because they didn't, and they've never seen it happen before. Wow. And he's like, I mean, I've never seen it happen, but I've heard this can happen. And so he went to the ER and they're like, that happened. I don't wow. know what it's called. I can't when did they have it today, yesterday? Um, yeah, like recently. Wow, dude, that's crazy. Last couple of days. That's why I don't go to the dentist, man. <laughs> I don't believe yeah, it. Oh, it's bad news. I don't believe in the dentist at all. Yeah. Uh, I think we should rip some cards today, too. Let's rip some cards. So we can uh, mix both of them in here together. Yeah. Uh, we can rip some cards. And maybe, I, maybe I'll give some away. Uh, I'll see this. Do you have me on my Facebook page as well? Yeah. Like? So yep. have, what do you have me on live right now? Just right now? Facebook and YouTube. Maybe you have my AC Sports. Yeah, Facebook. AC Sports. Do you have my personal Facebook page? No, just AC Sports on here will, right now. Will it let you do my personal page as well? Potentially. I'd have to have it logged in. But right now it's just AC Sports collecting. And you can't do it on that one? While it's happening? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm asking. I can try. Um, don't mess it up. Okay, okay, so let's go through some shoes here. We're going <laughs> to open some of these freaking shoes up. Uh, let's go through them. Uh, what we're giving away first. Okay. So we get those on the get those on the table. I, are you going to show people what you have on foot today? Uh, I was pretty upset. I forgot to do yours last time, actually. Oh yeah, because uh, you got some killer ones on. I did your brother's. I forgot to show yours. Yeah. Um, hey, that's okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll show. I can show mine. Uh, what are those? What are those called? Oh, these are so these haven't released in the U.S. yet. These are just the black and white dunk lows. They released in Europe. Um, I think this month. Wait, hold back up. Those are called Dunk Lows. Yeah, these are the Dunk Low black white colorway. So any any, right, help me out here. Just understand lingo. Is any low top? Not every low top is called Dunk Low though. Is that right? No, these are the Dunks. Those are called Dunks. Yeah. What makes that a Dunk? I don't know anything about these. This is the style. So, so is, they, would they, they call make, that a Jordan Two, Jordan Five, or is like low tops totally separate? So, this is not a Jordan. This that's is just, just a, a Nike. That's just a Nike. Yep. Okay. So they make dunk highs, dunk lows. They make SB dunks, which for skateboarding, they have like a really cushy tongue. Okay. So nothing related to Jordan. Nothing whatsoever. related to Jordan. That's just called a dunk low. Mm -hmm. They make a dunk low and a dunk high. Mm -hmm. And and you'll, you'll wear dunk lows or dunk highs. Yeah. I mean, the lows have gone crazy the last like year and a half. Uh -huh. Like, if, did you see the Ben and Jerry's, the Chunky Dunky? I saw them one time on Goat or something like that. Yeah, so those go but for like. Yeah, was telling me about them. Those go for like two bands now. Yeah, and they're insane. And the Travis Scott Dunk Lows, those popped off. Those are like two bands as well. But even though Travis Scott, nothing to do with Jordan on those either. No. That's just a Dunk Low. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Not a Jordan. Uh, time finding shoes, someone's. Yeah, so this guy's saying he wears a size 14, and he has a hard time finding shoes. Mm. Yeah, it's a bit of a more rare size. I'm a 13. Sometimes I, I creep into a 14. What would you guys call these last time? The big shoes, 13s? and what'd you, <laughs> Did you have a name for Yacht them? King. Yachts, right? Yachts. Uh -huh. 
and he calls yeah. those yachts, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Whoever's asked that question, yeah, I'm gonna rip some cards here in just a little bit, and uh, I'll probably get some uh, get some cards away as well, just while I'm live on the show here. Uh, I'm gonna rip some rip some cards and give some away as well, and then we're gonna, we're gonna break some shoes here, break some bread, some shoes and cards all at the same time. Um, but right now we're going through sh uh, 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 shoes, sneakers, and you're talking about yachts. Yeah. Is there is there a better way to place to get 14s? I mean, 14s 14s can be found. Once you get higher than 14, that's when it gets a little more difficult. Higher than 14? 15, 16, 17, that's when it gets more. Do rough. you have any 14s on ice? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, he's yeah. got some 14s on ice yeah. that he's going to start selling here. He's been collecting for a well, while, you and your brother, for 20 years almost mm -hmm. combined. And uh, hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of pairs uh, on ice, never, never. What's the other word you said last time? Dead drops? Dead stock. Dead stock. Yeah. Dead stock, right? But there is a difference between dead stock and ice. Very little, but there is a there is a difference. No, it's the same. Uh, because I was recently told that if they had that, if the tongue or the shoestrings were untied. Oh, yeah. You're just talking about like factory. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Does that make it it doesn't really. Like yeah. some people are really anal about it, you yeah. know. Like some collectors, they expect their orders to come in factory lace like if they're getting it from a reseller like yeah. goat stock eggs uh -huh. a boutique whatever some of them expect these have never been touched whatsoever but that's not the standard for any resellers if it's brand new it's brand new i just had a pair uh a friend of mine buy me a pair of cements literally uh, i was just looking at some cements and then i got a cement pair of cements as a gift and they bought tins or they bought ten and a half but they shipped out tins on goat so I freaking oh, hate goat. Oh wow! Right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I so freaking hate goat on this. I part. had something like that happen. So my dad wears a size seventeen. Oh my god! How tall is your dad? He's six eight. I ordered him a size seventeen Jordan One Low Chicago okay. colorway, and I got a size ten <laughs> Nike. Same close. Not even the same shoe either. Different shoe, different size, different everything. And Did I they had, return it? Yeah, but it took like it took like. That's what I'm. It took like eight weeks, yeah. or longer to get the money back. Yeah, because uh, we messaged them back because we we looked it up to verify. Like, no, it's a ten and a half. It shows on the order order is a ten and a half, and she thought a ten. Yeah. I can wear a ten, but it's a little bit tight, uh, and I want yachts. You know what I mean? So that's the closest I'm gonna get to ten and a half to a yacht. It's like a mini yacht. Maybe you should creep up to an eleven. I probably could just wear a little bit thicker uh, stance socks. Bro, I Maybe. go anywhere from a twelve and a half to a fourteen. Wear Whatever works for me. And. Um, <laughs> Yeah, but we we messaged or whatever. They haven't freaking responded yet. I I on goat. I hate their customer service. Yeah, that's gonna suck. But so Christian, someone's asking the sneaker god where they can go look at your shoes. Mm. Are we gonna do like a? Should we do like a collection video one week? We should go to yeah, that garage, sure. the man cave of shoes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so I, I I yeah. That's my brother's. Yeah, so yeah, we need to do. We need to get your collection out so they can start seeing it and start looking at if they want to buy some of them. Because we've got you got a couple hundred pairs. Um, um, yeah. Once the website's live, we can blast. You start that filling sucker. up Graham, dude. Yeah, you've got to start filling up Graham. Are you gonna Are you gonna take photos of these on yeah. Graham today? Are yeah. these These are the ones that you that I'm gonna buy from you. Yeah. This are the pair we're going to give away, minus whoever whoever size they need. Yeah. And then these two are two that you brought to talk about today. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um, so actually, I'm going to bring these out since these are everybody knows what these are. Yeah. So next week, if you guys don't know, next week we're giving these puppies away right here. Uh, Mocha Jordans. Those are Mocha Jordans right there that we are giving away next week live on our show. Um, uh, we gotta, we got dude, I've reached out to so many sneaker heads. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be pretty big, dude. You got some bites? Dude, I've got some people that are about to share on their pages. Uh, it should be some crazy, crazy advertising happening. Sweet. Um, so these are the ones we're giving away. You guys gotta be here live, uh, to win. And then we'll do a drawing here. <laughs> these are, uh, on ice, dead stock, one to rock and one to stock. And these are the stocks. Dude, I have all the lingo, bro. I'm so proud of myself. You've got to dial in. Uh, that we'll, we'll give away uh, next week. Uh, you have to like his Instagram page. So make sure today. Can you put his Instagram page up there uh, in the in the comment section, uh, Wally? Or is that just over Yeah, what's head? the Instagram page? Totally At over Cooperative TM. 
That's right in Wally's wheelhouse. Wally, do you like the mochas? Yeah, I've rocked those. Is it T I V E or T? -E? Yeah, just just traditional spelling. Cooperative T M. Capital T M. No, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. But okay. You know how I feel about that, right, Christian? Bro, let's not do this. You know how I feel about that, right? Let's not even get into it. I even told BL. He came over. I told him. Did he tell you? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. So that right there is, uh, is well, that's not going to be it's showing on that. That's my Instagram. That is uh, my uh, Christian's Instagram where these shoes will be posted on. If you guys are going to go look and buy. His store opens in April. <clears throat> April, his store open. Uh, same thing with his website. So this is all like some pre-release stuff that we're doing. You guys can jump in on. Next week, we have the mochas that we're going to give away. Uh, make sure you guys are here. Share the video, et cetera. We'll get a message out on uh, 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 Facebook page, et cetera. Now, these are here the pair that you are going, to, that I am buying from, from you today, right? Yes, sir. So are these on ice? Oh, yeah. Uh, I know someone just gave me a pair, but be, besides the pair that someone just gave me, and you got good friends, dude. When friends are buying you Jordans and, and giving them to you as gifts. Yeah, who is that? Bro, I'm, mean, I'm pretty connected, dude. I don't think my, you know how connected I am. Give man. him my number. Uh, and so this right here is a pair of Jordans, obviously. Yeah. When I see this, I think of the cement, but that does not mean cement. No, it doesn't mean that. No. It does not mean cement. No. Are the black and red and white cements in this type of box? Or is it, or I think the one I got, the cement was up here. The gray cement on the box? Yeah. Um. I and remember. they and they do different. So when they re-release a shoe, they'll oftentimes switch box. Okay, let's so see what I'm about to free and buy. And uh, for these shoes right here, uh, what's up, Chris Brown? Good to see you again, buddy. And that is not Chris Brown from our office. We have a Chris Brown that runs one of our companies here. We got about 19 different companies uh, underneath this building here. This is uh, 88,000 square foot building we're in right now. Uh, Chris Brown one runs one of our. He's president of one of our companies. Uh, but uh, he's that's not our Chris Brown. That's a different Chris is, Brown. Is this your friend then? Yeah, he does a bunch of card stuff with me, etc. He's got to um, get laced in Jordans, man. One who has never had Jordans. See, dude, Chris Brown's never had a pair of Jordans, man. Chris Brown, what size does Chris Brown wear? What size does Chris Brown wear? What size does Chris Brown wear? Chris Brown, what size, my guy? It takes a second for there's a there's a delay there. He says he wishes he had one though. Start saving your money, bro. Let's get you right. We'll get you booted and suited, bro. That's a, <laughs> there, there's a, uh, I said it to somebody earlier. Uh -huh. Oh, Brian from Tiny House. Oh, he's a size 12. Size 12. Hey, that's a good size. Oh, there's no 12s up here. There's a lot. Nope, nine and a half. And tens, right? Yeah. yeah. My brother was a 12. Hey, you didn't show him what you got on foot today. All right, I'll show you what I have on first. I think these are noteworthy. These are pretty dope. Yeah. These those... are some of my favorite shoes right here yeah, those that are... I have. I wear these a lot. Uh, change them that view. There you go. So those right there, I didn't, I don't know exactly. I know that the Travis Scott's Cactus Jacks, right? Yeah. Uh, what what Jordan model is it? Remember? Yeah, because you told me. I didn't know what it was. So you told me is those Jordan Fours, right? Oh, yeah. So Jordan Four. Uh, it's a collaboration with Travis Scott, right? Yeah. Um, and then it's it's referred to as the Cactus Jack. So here's the here's if you go here on this one, I'll show you the, the back of it. Boom, right there. You, you see the back of it says Cactus Jack. You know the story of this colorway? I have no idea the story. I just bought it because it looked like a cool shoe. So he's a, he's a Houston guy. And that colorway Who is it, based, Travis Scott? Yeah, yeah that colorway is whole... based on the Houston Oilers. Oh, the old, old football team. No, it's a baseball team. Isn't it? No, there's no or Houston Orioles baseball team. Whatever team. So the Houston Oilers NFL team. Yeah. Because Houston has Houston Astros and Texans. Houston Texans. Rockets. So before that, I think it was the Houston Orioles. These guys will probably know. Oilers. Um, Oilers. I know I can't say that word either. Oilers. That is straight heat, bro. I'm just wearing these around like I don't even care. I got them all scuffed up, but he's going to clean them for me. So uh, here's what I want to know, dude. So because I like these shoes so much, like what I like about them is that they're like uh, Christian, they're wide through here. It's mm -hmm. football. They moved to Tennessee. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's they're the Houston or Oilers, whatever you say the word, uh -huh. and they moved to Tennessee to be the Tennessee Titans. Okay. Right? So that would be the shoe 
That's from here, it. Then. That'd be yep. the, where the shoe colorway was. What came from? Yep. Was was that? Um, are all Jordan fours why like this, or is it just this like shoe that this cat this jack? No, they're all like that. Really? Yeah. Dude, I love these, but yeah, these are a little bit them. more. It's like a mid top. Like a mid. Yeah. Which I, I kind of get like crapped on when I talk about I, I have a mid pair. No, that's the Jordan ones. So if you get a Jordan one mid, you're a loser. No, not necessarily. I mean, there are some good mids, but just do you have a do you have any pairs? Do you I have, have one pair of mids. I want you to bring them in next time. I will. I want you to bring these mids in. But just the highs and the lows are generally better. But yeah. these, there's no high or low of the fours. It's just so if I buy it. fours, they'll all be this kind of size right here, right? The silhouette's the same. Uh, all of them. The only thing that's different is the colorway and just those little Travis Scott touches. Do you have Jordan fours here? No. Did you bring any? Next week, we bring Jordan Force. Yeah. I want you to bring a pair of Jordan Force in here. Anybody like these shoes right here? I hope you know, so. Dude, I may just give these away. If you guys Ooh. follow me or not, a lot, you know I just give stuff away all the freaking time. Ooh. I just give heat away. Straight heat all the time. Um. Okay, so I wore those Kettis Jacks. How much do these run right now, do you know? I, if my memory shows me right, I, I think I paid like mm, seven, eight hundred. Yeah, I, I would say they average about 11 now. Woo! Woo! I'm rich. I'm rich. Yeah. Of course, mine are. You know what's crazy more. is the day the day they dropped, you could get those online, resell for like 300 bucks. These for 300 bucks? The day they dropped. The day yeah. they dropped and they resell, they were resell for 300. Yeah. And now I pay like eight, like October. Yeah. October. So it's. January, October, November, <laughs> December, four months. Yeah. And now they're like 1100. Yeah. Oof. Straight fire. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that seat, uh, Chris, when uh, your boy won a bunch of stuff too, if I'm not mistaken. Dude, we got some cool stuff coming up on uh, uh, on um, AC Sports, dude. There is some, like, like, for those that collect cards, dude, there is some, like, I've been underground with a team working on some crazy crazy stuff that I'm actually going to kind of try to push out to my AC sports group first for like a beta testing to get some feedback. But dude, we got some crazy stuff coming out of the pipeline on cards and AC sports. Uh, okay. So those are the ones I just showed you. The Caddis Jacks uh, are a, a good pair that I actually bought. Mm -hmm. Not some of the crap ones that I bought. That's a great pair. This is a pair I'm about to buy because <clears throat> it's been, I don't know, a little bit since I bought a pair. Yeah. So this is a pair that you brought me that I'm I'm gonna uh, buy off of you for a crazy discount. Probably like buy one get one free. Something like that. Right. Something like that. Before it goes to. That's when you go to nice sneakers. <laughs> All right, here we go. Someone open them. We're good. Yep. All right, uh, go here, Dick. So here we go. I'm opening this pair right here, and these are the ones I'm about to buy right now to add to my collection. Uh, you always go hard with everything, man. I envy that laugh. <laughs> I do go hard with it, bro. Here we go. New pair of shoes. Oh. Oh, yeah, Ooh. dude. Look at those. Those are sick. Sick. Uh, I've seen these on uh, on GOAT before. Oh, dude, the inside are freaking even cooler. Yeah, man. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me get this out of here. <clears throat> let me drop these right here. So you've got a red and a yellow right there. Those are my new shoes right there, bro. Those are hot. Those are hot, dude. Yeah. Are those heaters? Yeah, I mean, I think so. Should I rock them or stock them? I think you should put them on foot. How many of you think I should uh, uh, wear these shoes or put these on ice and not wear them? Do you think I should wear them? Yeah. Yeah, I have no shoes on ice, bro. None. You, you could you could double up on those. But easy. I do have an idea I'm gonna buy you for a collection I'm gonna do for our show. Okay. That I think could be like baller, dude. Okay. And I'm, I'm gonna line them up back here. Ooh. I got so I got a contractor coming in. I'm gonna rebuild all my shelves. Yeah. And like I, I'm gonna have them customize my entire back thing back here. And I'm building a row uh, at the right height. I just ordered those the spinners. Yeah. The oh, magnet spinners. Nice. So. Uh, I'm gonna med get that in, measure them, and I think I'm gonna have a line that goes all the way across, right back here, up just a little bit, so you can see it on the screen. Yeah. And it'd be nothing but the sneakers. So oh, I got two God. ideas. Okay, that's one. 
I'm gonna put them on the magnet spinners. Yeah. So we do the show. There'll be ten sneakers in there of highly collectible ones, spinning. I like that idea. Okay. I think it'd be dope, right? Yeah. Like just spinning the whole time. Yeah. The other idea that I have is for my office. <clears throat> I'm going to. Uh, can you got a, you got a shot of this one back here of the lion? Um, a uh, picture of my lion. All right. So this right here. Uh, if you guys are online and watching, he's got the back of it right now, uh, back of my office, and there's a big lion photo right there. And then those are autographs of like famous entrepreneur businessmen, Andrew Carnegie, JP Morgan, et cetera. Um, so we're that I'm thinking about uh, Christian kind of moving, getting rid of the lion, uh, putting it out, maybe in my green room or something, and then uh, getting a clock right there, mm. right in the center. Get like a big hand, like you know. Yay big for the okay. hand. Yeah. Put it in the middle. Yeah. And then put 12 Jordans. You're going to make the Jordan clock? The Jordan clock around like it. Yeah. I saw one of those, dude. I'm like, dude, uh -huh. that'd be freaking sick yeah. if there's a Jordan clock in my office. Yeah. But I don't think I could do a clock and the shoes. That's a lot. I don't even I don't have anything to do with sneakers, but I'm just buying them and talking to you. Yeah. Which you like better, the Jordan clock right there or the collected, collecting piece on the uh, floating spinners? Well, the thing about the spinners is you don't have to be married to Jordan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12. You can display whatever you want. Uh, you may tell you what I'm on display? Yeah. I didn't know what it's called. I forget now. D DBs? DBs? So the ones where Jordan goes in partners with a terminally ill child. Oh, the Dornbeckers. Yeah, yeah, the Dornbeckers. Yeah. Cause Andrew, can you put those on top of the boxes? Sure. Yeah, we moved the camera. Which a, which Dornbeckers? Oh, because this is not catching those. Huh? For Instagram, yeah. I don't have a full time camera guy. Oh wait, I do. <laughs> you see those? Yeah. Um. So I think there's been five pairs released. There's been a ton. Um. They've been doing it for a long time. For some reason, there's like a certain set. Maybe there's a certain subset or something. I was talking to JD about it. Mm -hmm. He said. Like, I think he said five or seven pairs that are like twenty five hundred and thirty five hundred dollars a piece. No, there's some that are pricey. And like the the Dornbecker fours, the Dornbecker Jordan fours, those have gone crazy lately. Because my thought was, if it was like five pairs, so they're three grand a piece, but you get the five pairs is what fifteen Gs, mm -hmm. and you get the collection of this five. Because he kept saying there's you can have the whole like have the whole collection of five. Surely he didn't mean the whole collection of like ninety. Um, but maybe I don't know. If, I don't. I don't know. But my thought was to put the five like DBs running all the way across the back back there. Yeah. Um, and it was dope if it was the, if that was the full set. Some of them are getting pretty rare. I know. Well, pretty I guess, pretty I guess scarce. Because my thought was those would be like bright shoes you would see. Yeah. If because aren't the DBs like kind of crazy? Yeah. Uh, patterns and colors and so forth. Yeah. Not just like a regular like mocha. Yeah. Most of them are wild. Yeah. Because the kids are the terminal kids are building them, right? <clears throat> um, so that was my idea. Put like five DBs across there. Yeah. Or Jordan clock one through twelve over there. Okay. Those are kind of my two thoughts right there. For let me, me do, for let me show you the Dornbecker fours. Ba, 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 ba. What do you guys like better out there? You guys tell me. You like the. If I built a Jordan clock with Jordans one through twelve as the hour hands, uh, one through twelve going across it, or if I had the uh, um, five of the DBs, the DBs are for those that don't know, like I didn't know freaking three days ago, uh, are just the the shoes that Jordan does with terminally ill children. Is that a, what's that one? A DB? Yeah, that's the Dornbecker four. Let me see that one. So this is a DB. This, that means that a kid. Um, design. I mean, get it in the screen. There you go. So that's a Jordan 4 DB. Am I seeing that right? For sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So these are like crazy unique shoes that a, a terminally ill kid passes away or before they pass away, um, uh, designs with Jordan. Oh, that's the one that has a Superman tongue on it. Yeah. 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 They put a Superman tongue versus yeah. like the Jumpman or anything, which is kind of crazy because you have still have Dwight Howard. Yeah. Uh, which, which was known as Superman, uh -huh, right? In the yeah. NBA. But Jordan put the freaking Superman logo on it uh, as well. Yeah, so uh, those are the DB. So I'd be, I would get like five. How much do those run? Let's see, ten and a half. Well, actually, on those I figure I wouldn't care. I would just get whatever size because I'm not gonna wear them. I would just, I would just. Stop. Well, your size is the cheapest. 
Imagine that. Lowest ask, eighteen fifty. That's what he was saying. Like he said, I probably average twenty five hundred a pair across the board. My size is twenty five hundred for those suckers. Well, they got to add an extra nine inches for your foot, your dirty <laughs> ass foot. All right, so these right here are the pair that I'm buying right now from my, my guy here, Christian, who owns Cooperative. Uh, they're a shoe store, uh, a high end sneaker store uh, here in Utah. Opening their official store in uh, April, mm -hmm. about three months here. Yes. And we're going to do a bunch of shows with him, go to his office. Mm -hmm. He has a shoe cave at his house. Uh, the shoe cave um, uh, the shoe cave has some serious, serious sneakers in it. I love these right here, dude. Right here. Uh, I saw these. Um, let me see if you go inside. Look at those freaking inside. It looks like Saved by the Bell, dude. That's that's the Bel, that's the Bel Air 5. Bel Air 5? Inside. So so these shoes they're called the what the fives. What the fives? Mm -hmm. and it's oh, that's why that guy kept saying what the what the earlier. Yeah, it's some a guy mix kept of, putting uh, what the. <laughs> it's a mix of all the Nano G colorway fives that are really cool. Like the yellow one is the Tokyo, the red one is the Raging Bull, uh -huh. the inside of that red one is the Bel Air, so the Fresh Princes. Uh -huh. The inside of the yellow one I think is the Laser. Um, and then the reflective tongues are from a couple other pairs. But yeah, I'm a big fan of these. Dude, those are dope, man. And the bottom of these are purple. Yeah. And then the bottom of these, the red ones are black. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the Shanghai emblem, I'm pretty sure, on that red pair. Right here? Yeah, that little yellow hit. Oh, the yellow hit up there? Uh, the Shanghai five. Yeah, so, those are cool. Should I. Should I. Rock them or should I stock them? I think you have a mix. I've seen two rocks and two stocks. Ooh. Two rocks and two stocks. Just buy another yeah. pair, then you can do both. I don't want to do that, bro. I want <laughs> more pairs I can wear. Um dude, I'm 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 rocking them. Like I'm gonna wear those tomorrow. I, like for sure I'm wearing them tomorrow. Oh, I cannot I I the only thing that I'm good at, guys, is stocking is cards. Like uh, since like I haven't done some live shows, if you go back, I have a green room over here. You go back to that green room. I might have to do it one day, Wally. What I should do? I probably have. I bet you I have a hundred grand worth of unopened boxes of cards, uh, basketball, football, and baseball, in that room back over there. It is uh, a um, industrial shelving that goes from the bottom shelf to the top shelf, full. Of boxes and boxes of freaking cards, man. Let's rip some uh, cards. So I need to frit, price, uh, rip some cards. Uh, I cannot do my shoes, though, dude. When I buy shoes, I freaking wear them as soon as they come in. As soon as they come in, I wear them. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about it. Uh, I can't I can't stock the shoes. or Yeah, stock the shoes. I can stock cards, no problem. Yeah, that's the difference. Because it's so tempting to put these on foot. Which, which, which side do you like better, the yellow or the red? Yellow. But I like the Bel Air inside better. Yellow is so good. That yellow is so freaking dope, dude. Wally, what do you like? I like the red. Ooh. I mean, those pop. I'm going, oh, man, wait till you see them both on at the same. Because right here, they look cool. Yeah. When they're on feet, yeah, yeah. they look really cool. I'll, I'm, I'm going to wear them tomorrow. And oh, I'm gonna, uh, have you seen the new Subway commercial with Marshawn Lynch? No, I don't watch C TV. I just Seahawks work. running back. He's wearing them in that commercial. He's not with the Seahawks anymore, is he? No. Yeah, yeah, but same same dude, right? Yeah. I thought he's like re-signed again. Oh my God. No. Um, yeah, I get it, bro. I I collect as well, and it's hard to sell them, but on the shoes, man, I like to sell them. I mean, I like to wear them, man. Um. Okay, how, how much do I owe you? Um. Let's say two fifty. Two fifty. Someone looked that up and told me that's a good deal. I don't want this guy screwing me over over here. That's a good deal. Is two fifty a good deal for me to buy these right now off of Christian here at Cooperative? Two hundred and fifty bucks. I love them, dude. Because I love wearing those Tokyos that I wear all the time, and those remind me of the Tokyos. Is two fifty a good price? It's your an buy, insane deal. Your, your buy now price on StockX would be two seventy six. Oh, that's a killer deal then, because if it, right now they're on, he's saying, yeah, that dude right there just said insane deal. Uh, Chris Brown just said, yep. Uh, so they're two seventy six on my for my size, 
in um, uh, a StockX plus probably another how much in fees? No, and that's, shit. Af- that's after your fees. That's after everything. It's 276 yeah. I got 250 That's got $26 off. And you're not waiting three weeks to get them. Yeah, I have them right here in my hand. Wearing them tomorrow. Now, do you take credit? Not cards, just like a handshake. <laughs> just like an IOU. Do you take form of just payment, an dumb, IOU. Dumb and dumber style. <laughs> and I love, Molly. Like, actually, I'm going to leave these out, man, because those are dope shoes. Um, yeah. What I want I'm is. I'm glad you like them, bro. Uh, you know, you know I love these. I didn't know you what did, you would think. You did good. Okay. You did really good, bro. So I'm going to leave these out just for uh, everybody else. These are the mochas we're giving away next week. You guys can win a pair of those. And those actually cost more than these. The mochas. Oh, yeah. I do have these. These are these go with anything. That's what's yeah. cool about those, bro. Yeah. You can wear those with anything. Yeah. These are Jordan what? Fives. These are Jordan fives. These are Jordan ones. Yeah. And the, what I have on are Jordan fours. Yeah. I'm I'm really I'm I've only I literally only own Jordan ones in this one pair of Jordan fours. Now you got some fives. Now I got some fives. All right, this is a pair we're gonna talk about. Let's pull this one away uh, right here. They want me to freaking put it, put them away. They want me to stock them. Stock them away, dude. This pair is this pair is wild, man. I, this is a good pair. I'm interested to see what you think. I'm a big fan. So this is a collaboration with a brand called Sakai. Sakai? Sakai. It's a Japanese. Brand. Is Noelle out there? Do you see her? Yeah, I need to get some. I'm gonna get some cards in here. We're gonna rip some cards together. We traded Noel. Okay, so this well, he's saying trade those shoes for some of your cards. Trade what shoes? Instead of. Oh, there's Noel. Like him giving you the shoes and you trading him for cards. Well, he collects Pokemon. Oh, yeah, I don't think you, we have any of those here. Some Pokemon cards. He'll, he'll play if you bring him Pokemon. Talk. He's a Pokemon guy, dude. We're gonna. I'm gonna get into Pokemon just for this guy, so he can rip some cards together. I think Noel just walked in. Yeah, I'll have her grab some cards. All right, so this right here, are these Jordans? Nikes. So that's the thing, dude. Like, and now I get all confused because I only have bought – these are Jordans, mm-hmm. right? These Jordan 5s, right? 5s? Mm-hmm. Those are Jordans, but these are not Jordans. Nope. Still viable like Jordans? Oh, yeah. That's so like the dunk, the dunks, right? Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. These actually Up it this are, way. These are crazy value right now. All right, let's see what he's got. Do I pull the box all the way out or stop it right there? Either way. I don't want to hurt your box, dude. I know your box is worth money. Okay, here we go. Let's see what he's got next for us. Double wrapped. Woo. I don't even know. I have no clue what these are, bro. I have no freaking clue what these are. They're crazy. So someone just said uh, Sky Waffle. Is that what these are? Sakai Vapor Waffle. Yeah, so this guy knows what they are. Yeah. So I'll put them here. Here. These are called Sakai Vapor Waffle. What do you think? I didn't I didn't even know what they I didn't know I didn't I don't know what to say, bro. So these are not Jordans. These are Nikes. Mm-hmm. And it, I'm just lost. Like I don't even know about now I try and take on a whole new brand of shoe. Like, I don't even know what to do right now. Are these low tops? Yeah. These are called lows because they're almost like a hybrid of low and mid. So, okay. So, Sakai and Nike did some shoes. Do you see right there? No I think 2019. Um, called the LDV Waffle. That's a Ric Flair right there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so, these are, these are, give me a price on these so I know what we're talking about here. Okay. So, right now, that that's a nine and a half, right? Yeah, nine and a half. Right now, last sale on those was seven sixty-seven. So seven, we'll call it seven seventy-five. So seven seventy-five for these shoes right here. Yeah, I'm a nine and a half. So, and if you wanted to buy them on StockX, if you, you were Wally, if you'd you be eight thirty-seven. You're working. I'd be interested in buying you a pair of shoes. <laughs> Until then, I have no desire. There's some incentive for you, Wally. I'll be stuck with my all stars. Was that their guess? Four to five hundred dollar price range. Yeah. Yeah, four to five hundred. So on StockX right now, they're at how much? Or last sold? Seven seventy. So last sold on StockX for these for a nine and a half, depending. Uh, that makes a difference. Nine and a half. Yeah, nine and a half. Is seven seventy. Out the door, you'd be eight thirty seven. Shoe that just bought in the well, you'd be so happy with me. These are so worth it. 
so these are like 780 or whatever it is out the door. So, so why um, did you help me out with this sneaker, dude? Like I, I, I'm new to the sneaker world here. Why would someone buy these over Jordans? Well, it just comes down to your preference, what you like better. Is Unless, it, are you talking as, from like an investment standpoint? Well, let's say I'm, I'm, I know it's just the, right now for me wearing them. Like right yeah. now I like, I only buy Jordans and like, I don't want to buy Nike, these Nikes. I only want to wear Jordans. Yeah. Does, do people buy Jordans and Nikes though? Oh yeah. Okay. So I can switch. I don't, I can, I can play both ways. Oh yeah. Big time. Can I buy Jordans, Nikes and Yeezys? Mm-hmm. Like there's no like brand loyalty I'm, I'm breaking guidelines on. Yeah. I just wouldn't mix like Adidas socks with like Jordans. Yeah, because I had this, I had two Adidas, like, really nice uh, sweats shirts. Yeah. But I always struggled what to wear with them, bro. Yeah, you can't rock that with Jordans. Yeah, so I know I have, like, a coat that, like, stays zipped up over the corner or whatever it is. Yeah. Um, or just wear a name badge. Yeah, I put my, my <laughs> shares badge on. So these right here are called, are Nike, not Jordans. Nike, Sakai, Vapor Sakai Waffle. Waffles. Vapor Waffle. Vapor Waffle. Mm -hmm. What makes them waffle, this, this. No, so back when Nike was founded uh, by Phil Knight and Bill Bowerman, you know, the track coach at Oregon, mm -hmm. he was trying to make their track shoes better, and he was using waffle irons to make the, the uh, tread. Yeah. And so Sakai has gone back and combined, like, two shoes uh -huh. back from the original, like, running shoes. So that's where the waffle comes from. And that's where the texture of the tread came from. Have you read Shoe Dogs? Oh, yeah. So good. Shoe Dogs, great. You know, I just bought his autograph for my collection. Phil Knight? Yeah. No. Like, on, like for my wall back there. That's sick. My guy just hit me up. He was like, a, can you get, I bought like nine new autographs. It was one of the biggest orders I've placed in a while. And I got Walt Disney, which is super expensive. And then uh, Jack Welch. And uh, Phil Knight was on the list. Wow. And so I have a plaque like that I'll put up there. That's uh, cool. Phil Knight. I'll let you look at it if you want to. Yeah, I'd love to. You can, don't touch it, though. You can look at it. Hey. <laughs> uh, is there another shoe guy I should get? Uh, I, I, I bought a female entrepreneur because I wanted an old school female entrepreneur. Yeah. And I bought. What about Michael Jordan? No. Although he is a great entrepreneur. I tried to buy ones that passed away. Oh, okay. Um, uh, I bought, um, she's a lady, I can't think of her name. Well, Phil well. Knight's still alive, isn't he? Um, I don't know if he is. He's, he's on the way out. Pretty sure he's still um, alive. Is, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. what's the one? I really probably wouldn't have bought Phil Knight minus we're doing this show. So I was like, oh, that'd be cool for the show. Yeah. Um, God, what was it? Oh, she's the owner, founder of Barbie. All the Barbie dolls. Oh, okay. I, um, I bought her autograph. Yeah. There's one more lady I bought. Oh, Martha Stewart. I mean, she's alive. But Martha's OG. She's yeah. OG, dude. Yeah. Like, if you go to jail, you're on my wall, dude. <laughs> yeah, she's OG. You're on my freaking wall if you For make it to jail. Sure. Um, when she has more street th street cred than 50 Cent, dude. You know what I mean? I do. I mean, if you could straight, get a prison wall Has she ever been shot like 50? <laughs> I don't know. Probably in prison she was. Um, Shanked, maybe. You want a picture? Yeah. I got one more shoot coming out, though. So do you like those, bro? Yeah, dude. I like, uh, I like them. I struggled with like my, my style. I told you this last time, like the lows, like the those are a duck lows. Mm -hmm. Do you have on? Yeah. I don't, I don't know how to wear them, bro. I guess I'm just gonna buy a pair and put them on. Yeah. Like these, I am so pumped to wear. Yeah. I don't know how to wear these. Would you sock those or stock those? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, that's the same concept. Stocking and socking. Well, and socking. sock. You put your so your foot in the shoe. That's when um, you sock it. Um, if I had these, I'd stock these. Okay. You would. Yeah, I'd stock these because I don't know how to wear them, man. <laughs> they were doing to wear them, I'd probably, then I'd rock them. They remind me of those Kramer shoes on Seinfeld. Remember the ones to help you jump? Oh, yeah. Dude, Kramer's <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> you remember when Costanza goes on a date with those, like, Timberland boots on? And they give him, like, two inches, and he has to wear them the rest of the relationship? It's hilarious. I can relate to that. What, two, two inches? <laughs> yeah. Being five six, I can definitely relate. Are you five six? Yeah. Actually? Yeah. Well, okay. Pushing five seven. All right. So here's the deal. We've got uh that's right, dude. Martha's gangster, bro. Straight gangster. All right, so we've got two. I'm gonna hit hit Christian right now on two things. 
I have two road shows I'm about to go to. Okay, guys. So uh, we got them all finalized, wrapped up today as far as where we're going, when we're going. I got Jake. Uh, make sure his schedule is good to go so that uh, we can have a, a camera guy that doesn't work. And probably just be me and you recording our cell, <laughs> cell phones, bro. Okay. We better bring some freaking headgear because he ain't going to record anything. Um, um, he'll be still trying to figure out Instagram logins at that point. He's just along for the ride. Yeah. But uh, so I got two road trips coming. Okay. We're going to see if we can get Christian on them. And what I want to do is I want to take these two road trips and buy uh, shoes, cards, uh, Pokemon cards, baseball cards, whatever it is, sneakers. I'll even get some Louis Vuitton or Christian Louis Vuittons. Uh, I'll do I'll do whatever we whatever you come up with a style, and I'm gonna try. I'm gonna see if we can flip some stuff on the road. Okay, so I'm gonna go two road trips, and we have this big ass van, it's a Mercedes Sprinter van. It's like a apocalyptic in the world van that we have. It's got nunchucks, you got Throwing ninja stars. stars. It's got uh, a. Uh, it's battle. It? It's battle ready. It's battle ready, dude. I it like is that. Battle ready, bro. Um, I'll take the crossbow. There's a crossbow in there. Uh, so we're gonna take it on the road. I get two trips. One's coming up February. No, well, I think 11th and 12th. I think 11th and 12th. Saint George. Yeah, Saint George. So we got February 11th and 12th. We're headed to Saint George in the van. Okay. That's for we're gonna do. I'll do some meetings down there uh, while I'm down there. At some interviews, and then the big one is February fifteenth or sixteenth. Seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth. We added the Monday though, oh. so then it's sixteen. I text you sixteen through the nineteenth. It's like a Monday through Thursday. Mm -hmm. Leave Monday morning, get back Thursday. Okay, that one we're gonna go Las Vegas twice, and LA. So we're gonna drive, leave here, go to Vegas, stay at the Wynn Hotel in Vegas. Ooh. While you be at Motel Eight. <laughs> Okay. At least put me at the Astro Dome. <laughs> put me on the North Ghetto side. We'll put you at the Luxor. Uh, With Chris Angel. <laughs> so we'll leave here, take the van down to Vegas, uh, record everything, go live a bunch, and we're going to try to get some sneaker stores and designer stores. I have a couple friends in Vegas that own some like sneaker stores. Well, I've got some good friends in Vegas, but they ain't sneaker friends, buddy. <laughs> not sneaker friends. shoe shop friends yeah they are shoe friends but they ain't the shoe that you're looking at a different shoe show my friend okay um then we go to vegas spend a day in vegas drive to la we're interviewing I got two huge interviews for the money is show um uh, that we're gonna hit and then do a sneaker and card show there as well try to get some card shows and sneakers we can go to yeah see if we can find anything to buy and flip okay and um and then we'll and then we'll come back on Thursday. So it's a four day road trip. So you got to ask your wife if she'll let you bounce. Okay, let me ask the old lady on uh, on those four four days right there. Saint right. George, is there any? There's no. Is there any sneaker stores down in Saint Saint George? There's uh, outlets, but I don't, I don't think they'll I have any. Outlet with just yeah, they won't have anything four? good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we could go uh, thrift shopping. See if we can have find any come ups. So, so that you you do that though, don't you? Sometimes the thrift sometimes, shopping. Yeah. Are the thrift shops in Saint George? I'm sure there's, I mean, there's a DI, and yeah. I'm sure there's like a Goodwill or. Mm -hmm. You may have to get some of those up if you're gonna flip some stuff. Yeah. You should go to St. George. That's just one day, bro. Yeah. That's in and out. And we're gonna mountain biking over there. You're not gonna let Wally drive, are you? You should not. It would take Wally? forever to get down there. Did you assume I thought he could drive? <laughs> See, I can't work a freaking computer. He's, I can't work a camera. Ask my camera guy. Do you like the way I drive a, drive a camera? Just wait till I drive a car. Yeah. They go nowhere quick. Um, all right. So those are the two Herky trips. Jerky jerky. You've got to you got to get with your wife and see if she will let you let you let you bounce on yeah, those two days. For sure. Wally, can you text them those days? Yeah. Uh, the ones I sent you. Yep. Just so you know, and maybe that's what we do. Maybe it's St. George. We and, and actually both of them, but the St. George one, we hit up some thrift stores and stuff. Yeah. So we can flip some stuff. Let's do and it. And then put it put it online and sell that stuff. Let's do it. That'd be dope. And then and then you need to hit some shoe stores up, sneaker stores that will let us come in and you know obviously probably not gonna get any killer deals there, but maybe we can uh, talk to some of your boys out there or something, get some cool. Uh, I'll buy a pair while I'm there, etc. But yeah. two road shows that were going on. You, do you do the mountain biking? Um, I don't, but I, I'm down. 
with your six foot seven, you probably need like a freaking those old school like 1920 <laughs> bicycle styles, you know, the one that yeah. massive wheel in the front. Yeah, I'll just you, be I'll just be hunched over. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My dad has um, a couple bikes down there, but they're both he's my size, so good luck with that. <laughs> Okay, so the last pair of shoes here, and then we'll do some cards. You know what, when you can, can you grab me some um, cards? Basket, uh, basketball. Basketball, baseball, I don't know, whatever I got. Bring some boxes in here. Boxes or packs? Uh, bring bring uh, some of those clear boxes that I have. Yeah, yeah, bring some of the small clear ones. I think there's got some packs in there. Um, need a store in Foxwood. Uh, Chris Brown, where, where, you're in California, aren't you? I have a buddy of mine that's about to open a store um in california he's uh, he's opening a um maximum but we're there um christian he'll be with us jesse oh, yeah yeah uh, you know jesse rodriguez yeah um, he's, he's gonna come meet us in la oh he's dope he he just bought a you know he's a real estate he just bought a building in yeah. downtown claremont right off the like the main strip and he's like he hit me up a couple days ago he's like bro i want to open a card shop in this building sorry uh, with you and um and so he i we should, he should probably be doing some shoes too but yeah. I got him in cards recently, and now he probably needs to get into sneakers as well. Yeah. Uh, to open that store there as well. That's Maybe our dope, second man. franchise one. I like that. Personal rated, rookie pattern with an of people can see why I love it. That's fun. Wow. That's a lot of freaking cards. People are going nuts, man. Oh, I can show you the Patrick Mahomes card I got. Uh, crap. I haven't even showed anybody this card. I got it and then forgot about it. Uh, it was one of my, um, you know, how you get, you guys saw how you get, um, the auto cards in the packs, yeah. but you got to freaking send that crap into them. Um, somebody got it on Facebook or whatever, one of the groups I was in, and didn't want to wait on the money. Yeah. And so they like they made me an offer. It was like I bought it for quite a bit, but they were like, you can buy it and wait on it or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I bought this card. I just got it in like a week ago, and it's freaking perfect timing because my home's in the freaking uh, uh, um, Super Bowl again. Actually, yeah. I wasn't sure for Tom Brady. I should be checking for Patrick Mahomes because I got a ton of his freaking cards, including this autograph uh, memorabilia card. I don't know if you know where it's at, Noel, but I need to show that. Did one. you see the Mahomes card that just sold for like eight hundred grand? I didn't see the one that sold. For so it is one of five in the world right now. It was autographed, and I think it had a jersey piece in it. Yeah, that's what mine is. And it sold for like mine's autographed jersey piece. Eight hundred like, grand, like straight from the factory. Like I had to, you know, send it in and get it from them. Yeah, this their, one's one of five. Case. I don't, I don't remember which one it was, but it's I, crazy. I'm gonna go grab it and show it. I may grab some more other cards too. Okay, last pair we got right here. Are these Jordans or not Jordans? No, Nikes. These, are not, these are Nikes as well. Yeah, but they're Katniss Jack. Yep. Which is what I have on right now. So yeah, mine are Jordans. Yeah. Oh, Woo! These are pretty dope. I like those. Wow. Look at those right there. So these are called, uh, what are these called? Those are the Travis Scott Cactus Trails. Jay, you can get both of them on the, on the screen down below. Let me lift that one on up. They're Air Max 270s. So these are Nikes, not Jordans. Uh, these are just regular Nikes. Yep. And they're Air Max. Yep, 270s. Air, Air Max is this. So yeah. It makes it Air Max, basically. Yeah. And these are the 270s. Yeah. God, look at that. Man. It's like a teddy bear right there. Yeah, so it, it's it inspired. Nice, bro. It's inspired by like outdoorsy, like camping stuff like that. So you'll see like the fleece around the collar. That's what reminded me of like a fleece, the leather, best. and all those different uh, materials is inspired by like. That's why they're called the cactus trails. Cactus trails. Those are hot, huh? These are hot, dude. Yeah. For whatever reason, I like these better than those. Okay. How much? How much these run? Ten and a half. Let's see. These right here are tens. Last sale, five oh three. This is, I'm talking your size. Oh, that that size though. Yeah, this is a ten. Last size, lowest ask, four eighty two. Four eighty two on where stock stock X. X. Four eighty two on stock X for a ten. Out the door, you'd be five forty one. How much? Five what? Forty one. 541 with stock x so stock x out the door at 541 for these shoes right here yeah on a size 10. uh you're about to drop them for how much sell them um so we'll probably be below stock x price probably be around 500 bucks 500 499 and they're yeah. at 541 right now on stock x that's what you'd be out the door yeah 541 on stock x 499 
is what you guys four nine nine decimal nine nine <laughs> decimal nine nine all right so these are the one two three four i'm gonna throw my shoes up too okay these are these are are they going to well what's your favorite on the table Pose. Yeah. That's the thumbnail right there, boy. <laughs> I do need to give you a thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well, to get a, could you get a better thumbnail? I would need you to bring in like, I want my desk, like this whole desk, to be full of shoes. Then I would take a photo. I think we can do that. I agree, Chris Brown. The cat just looks good. What do you need to do? What do you need to make that happen, Christian? What? I need I need a new thumbnail, but I want let's see how the see how the desk looks right there with mm -hmm. like it's got like five shoes on it. Yeah. I want to clear my desk and make the whole thing shoes. And then we'll take a we'll take a picture. Hey, we can bring in as many pairs as we want, bro. I need you to bring me some killer freaking pairs in here. I'm tired of playing games with you, son. <laughs> I'm right. tired of the game. Hey, you know what I'm doing? What? I'm just I'm marinating this You're crowd. Marinating my, my shoes. Over I'm here. just massaging the meat right now. I like the idea of the Jordan clock, bro. Yeah, hey, it's pretty dope, man. You know the game, the rapper. The, yeah, the rapper called the game. Yeah. yeah. So he he's got a Jordan clock in his sneaker room. It's pretty cool. I think the Jordan clock would be pretty freaking. Dope. He's also got the Air Mags behind like bulletproof glass. Really? The Back to the Futures. Yeah, the back, is that like one of the most expensive ones? No, back they're, to the Futures? They're pricey. I think mean, they're like 30K. How much? 30K for like the auto lacing ones. Because I, I, I thought about these going here. Or yeah. these go there. Those are, yeah, those are your fives. These are here. So mm -hmm. this one goes here. Yeah. Which ones did they have at the shoe store we went to in LA? Remember? Because they were. Oh, they, the, uh, Flight Club? Yeah. They had every pair. Well, I know, but they had the Back to the Future ones. Oh, I don't know if they're auto lacing or not. I, I you don't can't know. you can't tell really just yeah. by like appearances. Mm -hmm. You just know like if you put them on and try to do it. And auto lace it. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the ones I think that released in like twenty eleven, the Back to the Futures, they like the lights light up, mm -hmm. but they don't auto lace. Yeah. And I think they came out again in twenty sixteen with auto lacing technology. And those are crazy. Let's see, it almost took till it took past 2015 to get those auto laces going. Were you a Back to the Future guy? No, I was actually a cool guy. <laughs> I actually had friends in high school, bro. <laughs> to be honest with you. Wally, yeah, Back to the of Future course, Wally was. Uh, totally. <laughs> I didn't have friends in high school. You ain't got time for that. <laughs> All right, these right here again next week. We'll be giving these away right here. Uh, right here, we'll be giving those away. Uh, most of you guys already are my subscribers on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, but uh, you gotta have three things there. You, you gotta follow me on YouTube. Uh, can you put the, the links up? Yeah. And then we're gonna, I'll get some cards out in the meantime. Let's see what I got. Dude, I just got some. Don't play. Don't play. Huh? Nothing. What? Did <laughs> you see what I deal with, Christian? <laughs> I'm live right now with this guy. Look at this crap. Why would you I was... put a, a resume that said, I, I'm a video? We didn't have YouTube words. I'd be better off hiring those freaking ducks right there and bring them in here. No way, bro. <laughs> no way. I know, well, you may have to uh, rip me some uh, you link. addresses here in a second. Okay, I. Where you gotta go? Well, in like 15 minutes. Um, can you give me those little AC? Remember those little, in there we had the AC, um, like paperwork. 
we built that had like we get right, someone's name and address. I could stack the cards on it for them. So, do they follow Andrew Cordell or AC Sports on Facebook? AC. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a serious question, Wally. All right. Serious question. And I am. Okay, serious question. Ready to answer that. Do we actually pay you? Uh. <laughs> I mean, are, are do we actually are you on payroll or is this like I didn't know, but it's some sort of government grant with a new uh, uh, grant system they got coming out with the the um, stimulus package? It's a barter system. Well, whatever it is, I'm gonna explain something to you. We're getting screwed. <laughs> What do you pay then, Wally? I get paid and bucked up. <laughs> so I get one energy drink a day, a power bar. Yeah, one power bar. A protein bar? Yep. A G2G? Yep, G2G. We need a G2G sponsor, bro. They're coming in, dude. They're going to do an uh, interview. Sick. G2G. All right, so what do you got there? You got got the yacht collection. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know if you went away or not, but... And uh, Wally couldn't figure out how to log into YouTube. Oh, they're both there. All right, so right there, that is my Facebook, and that is my YouTube somewhere. And you got to put, uh, you got to put uh, Christian's Instagram. I... Yeah, put it again because it scrolls at the top now. All right, let's run some cards, guys. Proper. I'll show you what I got. I just pulled out one box of random crap. It's cooperative. TM. TM. I agree, CB. I think that freaking clock will look pretty dope. The only thing I was thinking about doing it um, was if I put the, the DBs back here, because I think it'd be pretty sick to be sitting here and having like yeah, basically 10 shoes spinning, right? Yeah. I think that'd be like all lit up. With my new stand, it'd be a little bit higher and so forth. Mm hmm and then I'm having them put LED lighting throughout the actual thing, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be pretty freaking dope. The yeah. other place I thought about doing it was on my shelf right here, where that money is thing is, put them lining them across that. I was a little yeah. bit afraid of the sun hitting them, baking them, you know what I mean? You don't want that. Yeah. So I think if I do them right here, and like, then, then you put the Jordan clock either in the green room or like somewhere out here. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, uh, hit me this right here. So, do you, uh, you actually don't. So, I just grabbed my, uh, one of these boxes right here that we got. Uh, this is when we um, open packs, they get tired of opening and ripping. I throw them in these little things right here for packs that are still in boxes. I'm just tired of going through. So, I pulled out these packs right here. Uh, if you go to my desk real quick, at my desk. Uh, so, this is what I got right here. I just pulled out of that box of just random cards of packs there's a bunch more but that's what i pulled out right there oh this guy got a pair of money of socks they I, they weren't they they, they rep the gear dude they rep the gear the swag when are you gonna come out with uh the whale will sail <laughs> That one is going to take a while to make. <laughs> so you're, you must be in the business of losing money, it seems like. The business of losing money. The whale will sail. The merch is on the way, bro. I'm, I'm going to do the whale will sail. You're, you're so far out of that deal. It's just so far gone. <laughs> you watch me. I'm going to do I'm gonna do AC Sports, the whale will sail, and, and we'll see how many I sell. Okay. You do whatever you're going to do. I got the over-under. Donuts are us. <laughs> we'll see how many you sell. All right, so let's rip some cards. See, they're freaking pudding. The money is the whale. All right, uh, we'll rip some cards here. You guys want basketball or baseball first? Basketball, baseball, or I got, I got football too. Basketball, bro. They always want basketball. Um, hey, Jake, hit me, hit me on, on my close up right here. Close up, right there. I'm just trying to get my square box. I asked Wally to put a piece of tape here before the show, but it was, I think, I think when I asked him for tape, he threw him off. I wasn't awake at that point. <laughs> yeah, he, he had just woke, woken up at that point. 
Uh, let's see here. Hey, screw your chair. Can you screw your chair up here? Yeah. And we can rip some of these with me. Is it going to throw your camera angle off? I can just adjust it. No problem. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, 10, 11. Man, I got probably, and some of these have multiple packs in them. I probably got like 30, pair, 30 packs up here, I guess, right now. Man, I haven't ripped sports packs in forever. Sports? Yeah. That's that's the obviously probably the number one pack up here. I've been on that Pokemon. He's been on that Pokemon this, trail. This Zion pack's the best. Yeah, but well, what I have up here, I yeah. have for for all of these. This right here is the best one. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's rip some cards. Let's start with uh, let's just get the. Let's jump back. Let's get. Let's get some of these out of the way. Let's do that one. And then um, I'll do this one here. These are two baseball. All right, we're some baseball. We got two baseball packs right here we're ripping. Instead of those. I start off with the Mookie Betts. Smoke. Oh, you know what, Noel? It was crazy. That's how I meant to tell you earlier. Over on Lars' desk, you know what's that? This is my AC Sports little pad that he has to keep it on. We got to take this ours, so I got to have that. But you know how you have the dice, AC dice, yes. the cup, the roll. If we can get any of like that little uh, dice set over here before you leave, if not, don't worry about it. Look at that, bro. That's how you open a pack. I know it. So this is names, teams. Hmm. You got Mookie Betts on top. Yeah, I got Mookie Betts on the top, bro. That'll it's just, work. it's a, uh, there's, go to the other camera, Jake. Close up camera. Out of my head, you moron. These are the envelopes. These are, these are the divider cards. Okay. I need the rubber bands from Noel. when she comes back. All right, let's see what I got. Here we go. Uh, I'll go through, Jake, go wider here to see if you can see it. I mm, think they can see it that far. I have to go right here, back to here. All right, Mookie Betts, Arthur Devers, Mitch Hangier, J.D. Martinez, Dustin May, uh, Prism, Sandy. I don't know him. You know, if you know anybody, let me know. If you hey, if you guys see a good card that should keep, let me know. I don't want I don't want to give these to Christian over here. Sheldon News, Justin Dunn, Raider rookie. Ronald Acuna, is he any good? Ronald Acuna, you guys, I don't, I forget if he's good or not. Uh, Mookie Betts, Illusions, Andrew Munoz, Zach Gallen, Trey Machini, don't know him. Matt Theus and Willie Castro. Willie Castro. Hmm. Acuna. Acuna. I can show you some. Uh, I need. To, I need to go get some cards while he's opening some right here. I'll show you guys some cards I've been collecting while I've been uh, away. So this is the Mookie Betts Illusion. This is decent, right? Acuna, Dustin May Prism, and Mookie Betts. Okay, here you do yours right here. I'm gonna go get some. I'm gonna go get some my my stash. You see the two orange lines? Yeah. You may have to go on my side because it'll be upside down. Let me get that camera, Wally. Focus. I got it on his side. <laughs> Come on, card gods, please be with me today. The sneaker god is calling upon the card gods. I'm calling upon all gods here. <laughs> if any gods listening, okay. Willie Adams. Ooh, Bryce Harper. Kirby Yates. Dallas Kuchel. Jacob DeGrom. Oh. Whoa, is that common? Just have them flipped like that? Not usually. Zico Goodrum. Ooh, Anthony Rizzo. Taylor Trammell. Sam Hilliard. Cattell Mart. Gavin so is good. Rico Garcia. Might want to pull Acuna out for that. Hmm. Any winners here? Let me know. Bryce Harper, bro. 
That's not bad. We need to open call? a money pack for this sneaker god. Yes, let's get you a money pack. Yeah, I need a money pack. I'm getting into this Zion pack, bro. Move those hands over so we can see. To your left. There you go. Let me know if you want to see this uh, Zion pack. Andrew might not be happy, but who cares? He's getting a good deal on his shoes. Here comes the first Zion pack, AC. Of the optics? Yeah. Of the mo mosaics? Yeah. Okay. I probably just bought some straight heat. Heat. I just brought in this room. Oh. Okay. Okay. I have white and red. Bro, oh, how am I so good at opening packs? These are regular, regular. I'm gonna Look at these. that. And Here we go, baby. You ready, Wally? Let's do this. Okay, this is up my alley. Jeremy Grant, he's having a good year. Ben Simmons, oh my gosh, I hate Ben Simmons. Montrez Harrell, he's annoying. DeMontis Sabonis. Oh, Joel Embiid. That's got to be pretty good. Oh, bro, Pistol Pete Maravich. Look at that, card, bro. <laughs> Look at that stash. stash. Man. man, he's so cool. The stash is fire. Hey, is this Joel Embiid card any good? I don't know. Ask them. Joel Embiid. Let me know, guys. Joel Embiid. This is a Pokemon collector. I mean, I know he's an MVP candidate, but is this card any good? This, this Pete Maravich, man. Sure, that's the money one. That dude. is sick. Okay, I'm leaving those out. Let me get out of your seat. Bro, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pull some straight, straight fire for you guys <laughs> that I that I've been buying so much stuff that it's stupid. <laughs> this is just like some stuff I pulled out just to have like while I was screwing around. So first, you've never seen this dude. So we play we used to play this game. If you guys some of you guys remember this called uh what I call it? Um roll or go or uh God, what did I call that guy? Spin or win or rolling goal. It must not have been very memorable. It was a dice game. So I would give him I give him a card to win. Pete's a keeper, bro. <laughs> Pete is a keeper. You're not wrong. Uh, gosh, man, what was that called, Noel? When I did the um, spin or win on the dice, and you had to hit AC Sports. Oh yeah. Remember that? It was something to do with. Um... Oh my gosh. I can't remember it. So many times. Roller. It was in rhyme, like spin or win or. And it was the two options that we would give them, right? I'm beginning to think this game wasn't very good. Oh, it was really good. We played for five hours one night. <laughs> you want any dice for your house? Yeah. All right. Let's play craps all night. All right, here we go. Let me show you guys some. This is the card I'm telling you that I just got. Uh, this is the card I just got from uh, Panini. Uh, in Patrick Mahomes. So I bought this off of somebody who was the redemption one. It's a pretty freaking dope card. It's 10 of 15 Panini of Patrick Mahomes. Wow. You guys can see that card right there. That's Ooh. probably a good card, man. It's probably a decent card. How much do you think it's worth? It's an autograph, uh, jersey uh, with, with the jersey in it, Patrick Mahomes Legacy. I don't know how much it's worth. You may know how much that card there is worth. You gonna flip it? Ten of fifteen, straight from them, sealed, Benini. I hope this guy wins the freaking Super Bowl because this card should go up. Man, I don't, I don't see how they can lose. All right, so I got. I'm gonna pull some heaters, dude. That you guys have not seen. This is only like a little bit of it, dude. Like, like this is. I, I have. I went way too deep on uh buying a shit ton of cards all right so here's a zion uh there's a zion nine graded nine i got i got a big box of the zions i went with some of these are 
I bought from uh, like a like, uh, like a pack of them. This is a Jerome Robinson Auto Card. It's an orange. I graded at a ten with an auto on it. Emino Jerome Robinson. Let me flip the room lights, then it takes out the glare. Oh my God, Wally thinks he's gonna do something good for us. Let's Wally's see. I'm hoping. Wally. Does he have a trick up his sleeve? Boom! Hey. Oh, Wally's got a little trick up his hey, sleeve. You just turned two buck up for the. Yeah, you got two bucked up, brother. <laughs> so you guys can see a little bit more now. So I'll go back so they can see without having the glare on it. So that right there is the Patrick Mahomes uh, auto jersey card. I want to shake like that. Pretty dope looking card right there. Then I got some of these in a, like a high stakes um, auction, not a high stakes auction, a high stakes um, dice game that we were playing online. It was like $500 per roll from this dude like in China. <laughs> <laughs> and he had like mystery packs uh, that he gave out. So this is Jerome Robinson, orange, Panini, optic, uh, auto card. Okay, there's one. Uh, this right here is a... Uh, D'Anthony Melton, uh, cracked ice auto card. D'Anthony Mel uh, Melton, ice, cracked ice auto card, graded at a 10 that I got. Those I don't care about. There's a Zion, uh, nine, graded a nine, rookie card, stickers, Panini sticker. Man, he's dominating this year. Is he? Yeah. Better than, uh, Ja? Well, he's averaging like 25 points, like seven and a half boards. Oh, sweet. And almost 60% field goal shooting. This last Mahomes he said right there sold for like $977. Nice. I did not pay that for it. I think, I paid, I, think I paid like 400 for it. They win the Super Bowl. You're probably, what, 1500 Yeah, they, and I need them to win the Super Bowl, dude, because I got a ton of Mahomes. I just got that one in the mail recently, though. This is Zion 10. I got that one recently. I mean, dude, I got so many freaking cards of stupid recently. These are just some I pull out of packs that are auto cards. They're kind of cool. Um, these are a baseball um, top tribute. Um, Scott Kingry, uh, which is the auto orange. And then I pulled a Peter Alonzo rookie card uh, autograph. If you're a Peter uh, Alonzo fan. And then I pulled old school Edgar Martinez. Mm. Which I love. I was a, I was a Manners fan for a long time. Oh yeah, when they had the kid. Oh man. dude, I loved loved it back then. So that's a Edgar card, uh, auto card. And the that's, big unit. Yeah. Mm. Let's see what else I I pulled out of my pack over there. Young Here's A Rod. Uh huh. Dude, I'm a huge A Rod fan. Current day A Rod. Both A Rod. There's a Zion. Uh, great as a ten. It's freaking GMA. Not what I really want, but it was, it was a 10 with him, so I grabbed that one uh, for a Zion graded at a 10. Man, he was rookie card. in college. There's another Zion 10 uh, graded rookie card from a Zion on 10. Uh, let's see what else I got. I got this one. This is a pretty a stainless steel card. I want it, again, in one of those high $500 rolls. Uh, nine, Cam Reddish. You like Reddish? Not bad. You guys like Cam? I like that Duke game with him and Zion. But that's a uh, it's a stainless steel card. It's freaking heavy as crap. Seven out of ten, uh, Cam Reddish um, card. You need to tell Stony to turn off the heater because I think that's what's shaking the ceiling. Who's mm -hmm. Stone? Yeah, Mike. Um, and then right there, it, you can text if you want to. Right there's the card that I won. Jerome Robinson cracked ice graded at a freaking ten, auto card. Cracked what, ice rookie what's card. What's cracked ice? Um, it's like cracked ice is like saying, um, Jordan five, Cactus Jacks. Mm. And it's like the, like another like type of card. Mm. Um, if you guys if you guys like him, Cam looks cool, interesting. What do you guys think for Cam? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I never seen that one. Cool. Uh, 11, see. 11 points per game for Cam Reddish. Let's see what else I got going on. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, this isn't this isn't like a, even a freaking tenth of what I have been grabbing lately. That's a Cam Reddish stainless card again, but autoed. 
Mm. So that's an autographed uh, Cam Reddish stainless steel card. Mm. Uh, let's see what else I got. This is uh, I don't even, I don't even, I just won this one. It's a Reggie Jackson. Yeah, he's pretty good. Auto, auto card. Reggie Jackson auto card. Both those are all all of us in play. I pulled that one, little heater right there, Ronald Acuna, Chops Tribute Auto Card. If you're a freaking uh, uh, Acuna fan, and then I pulled this Acuna out of another pack that I ripped, a 15 out of 25 Ronald Acuna with jersey, Auto Card. Mm. Shout out to Tyler Fenkhauser. Yeah, oh boy, Tyler. He keeps asking me, dude. He comes up. He's like, "Hey, can you can you show me some Acuna's?" I keep telling my will, but I swear to God, I haven't yet. I need to, man. Uh, and then I, I uh, these are all the cards that I pulled. Uh, here's uh, I started trying to pull uh, or, or collecting Jordan Alvarez. Any of you guys Jordan fans? Hell no. The Astros. Yeah, I do hate the Astros. That's a Jordan um, uh, auto card. And then tops chrome, and then here is a, another Jordan uh, auto a green leaf, and then here's a clearly authentic tops uh, rookie card Jordan auto card. Mm. Oh, but I'm about to show some. I got it. It's getting better, dude. So those are three Jordan. If you guys are Jordan fans, auto cards right there. Then I pulled. If you guys are Juan Soto. Mm. Juan Soto, that's a, um, I think that was a tribute as well. Nope, this is a, what is this one? Top something. Oh, no, but he's good. I think it's top tribute. But there's your Juan Soto auto if you like him. Now, I like, it. I got a couple, I got a couple of football players that I collect that I feel like is, uh, that are money, dude. Um, here is a, uh, Josh Jacobs, are you a Jacobs fan? Not really. Oh, come on, dude. Josh Jacobs is a freaking stud. Who should I sell? Someone's saying sell, sell, sell. You're talking about Jordan? If he's not good after this year? There's a there's a pretty dope Josh Jacobs. And then there's a uh, rookie Josh Jacobs prism. I think this is a uh, 12 out of 75. Uh, green Josh Jacobs auto card. Another complete freaking stud. That's for a decent amount. Yeah, one Sato probably does. And then you guys may like this one if you're a basketball fan. You may like this one if you're a basketball fan. Okay. There's you a pretty dope basketball. Ooh, the Greek freak. If you're if you're into that type of you know good cards. Mm-hmm. Unlike my. Uh, you know, uh, Jordan Pines that I bought that I don't know what the hell they are. I wore them a couple <laughs> days ago when JD came in. Okay, look at this right here, bro. Like, these are some all graded. So, wow. on the camera here, these are all graded, freaking like. I'll go by the other side. Okay. Uh, one of the boxes I just kind of pulled out because I knew there's some stuff in here I wanted to show you guys. There's a mixture of basketball, baseball. I don't think I have any football in here. These are all graded right here, though. I'll throw some heat out. Anybody like that, uh, Giannis? I did. Giannis is money, bro. Freaking money. All right, let me show you some of these right here. People right. are anxious for you to roll. They're wanting the card. Oh, of course Someone's they want to roll. The card. This one you may like right here, bro. Uh, this is a graded. Um... Oh. Look at that one. Brandon Jennings, uh, Steph Curry. Um, hard to see, guys, maybe because they're so small. And then uh, Tariq Evans. All three jerseys, royalty, all rookies. Wow. Oh, jerseys, that's sick. That's jerseys and three rookies. Could be a cool card. Maybe give it to my mom. I don't know. <laughs> Is mom a collector? Nope. Okay. I'm going to go through fast with these. You guys have to pay attention. Uh, these are all freaking graded. Uh, graded as 10s. Acuna graded at 10. 
Acuna, 10. Acuna, 10. Uh, this is a Bowman, graded at a 10. Here's a uh, um, auto card, Acuna and uh, Ozzy Alves from the uh, Braves as well. Both autoed right there, both rookies. Here's a grade as 10 Acuna. Mm, this is a uh, Bowman Blue Chrome, grade at a 10 Acuna. Let's see, Chrome Refractor, Acuna 10. Mm, Acuna 10. Acuna 10. The guy, I'm, not, I'm just done playing games at this point. You know what I mean? <laughs> I Acuna 10. Uh, Top gold. A two, 10. Do you think you have the most expansive Acuna collection? Oh, this is <laughs> like, all oh, I just have one little box here, dude. Uh, this is a um, chrome. I went I went crazy on this one and got a nine and a half. I just felt like I dipped my sails and got a nine and a half. This one is a blue leaf Acuna uh, with an auto. Uh, on that one, Blue Leaf Auto uh, on Acuna on that one as well. They get graded. You must have some pull. Come on, Chris Brown. You know I got pull, brother. It's like I got no pull. <laughs> so those are stacks of uh, Acunas that I did. And then I went on this dude right here for a little bit. Let me show you. I, I do some of the rookies, bro. So uh, this is a 10. Uh, Andreas uh, Jimenez from the Yankees, mm -hmm. graded at a 10 right there. Uh, this mm -hmm. is another grade of 10, uh, Lazarito Ar Armatreus. Okay, whatever, grade of 10. Now, then I went on another rookie uh, rookie hit for a little bit on a guy named Jared Kelnick. You guys do Jared Kelnick out of uh, 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 Mariners. This guy's supposed to be an absolute freaking stud coming through right here, dude. Uh, Jared Kelnick, I got auto rookie 10, Bowman Green, and then I went with a Bowman Best uh, rookie autograph graded at a 10 on Jared Kelnick. And here's another uh, Kelnick at a 10 as well. Uh, now, maybe you guys have heard of this guy, uh, Jimenez, Eloy Jimenez. You follow him at all for the Cubs? No. Jimenez, 10. Jimenez, 10. Jimenez Bowman 10. Jimenez Bowman 10. Uh, 10 and 10. I like the number 10. Wow. Uh, uh, this is a blue chrome. Jimenez 10. This is a pretty cool Bryce Harper if you're into that dude at all. There's a Bryce Harper uh, 10. Bowman. Do you like Bryce Harper? Yeah. Yeah. Bro Bowman chrome. Uh, Bryce Harper at a 10. And then here's a Vladimir Guerrero rookie card. Oh, uh, Chrome throwing at a 10 uh, on Vlad, if you're a Vlad fan at all. Dude, I love that video of Bryce Harper with the fans taunting him and he <laughs> talking about how overpaid he is when he hits a grand slam. Yeah, on the like the the such he's out of the out of the um he's on the the guys taunting him was in the um, um like right where he was up like in the what do you call it? Not bullpen area, but that's not when he's on. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought a ton. I have these in another of my offices here. Um uh over at Scott's office. I decorate I decorate a lot of the guys' offices here with my cards so they don't look like they, they don't have to go get their own. So I, I did a huge collection of uh uh should uh show showy. Mm, there's a showy nine, uh showy ten, rookie card. There's, this is a Dominator uh, Crystals uh, at a 10. Uh, here's a opening day rookie card, uh, 10. Let me see the grade right uh, there, 10. There's Shui, 10. That person says, how do you keep track of what you have? I don't think he does. I, I, don't, I, I don't, dude. I got shit so, so many places. It's literally like all over my building here. Uh, show you 10, and then I went back to some Acuna 10. <laughs> Acuna Welcome 10. Welcome back to the stage. Acuna 10. <laughs> Acuna 10. Uh, this is a uh, Bowman uh, uh, Chrome Purple ref uh, Refractor 10, and then another Bowman, another uh, Acuna there at a 10. Now, shout out Acuna. Yeah, shout out Acuna. Hope that guy does good. Uh, now. For the basketball players, you may like this one, bro. 
kind of held this one back. I haven't. I actually forgot about this card, dude. Uh, Let's see it, bro. I forgot about this one. You may like this one, Christian. Um, I'm a big basketball guy. You guys, if you like a basketball guys, I bought this one to go deep with them to see what happens. Uh, it is a um, well. I'll just show you guys. Probably better if I just show you. Oh, Luca. That's a Luca rookie card. Uh, Panini uh, Donner's uh, at a ten. Wow. That, my friend, is straight fire, dude. He's an MVP candidate this year as well. That is straight freaking fire right there. That kid's good, man. You might know what that, that card there is worth. You might know that Luca's worth. How much? I got 20 on it. Wally's got 20. Wally? Which is his weeks of pay. Yep. That's what I have in my wallet. If he sells his bucked poor. up. <laughs> <laughs> if, he, if he can get someone to buy his bucked up off of him. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get any good basketball, bro? Jimmy Grant. Bro, I got Ben Simmons. I got Pistol Pete and Joel Embiid. Those are the two two good ones. Yeah. Did you pull up? Is Ben Simmons not that great, right? Yeah, I mean, he's overhyped. Oh, you pulled uh Bryce Harper and Rizzo. Yeah. Are the basketball or the baseball? Yeah. The other baseball not that good. And these are the other baseball you pulled. Yeah. Charlie Blackman's all right. Kyle Seeger. Okay. Let's rip some more cards. Let's rip it. Oh, Gavin Lux. <clears throat> the Gavin Lux rookie, bro. You know like Gavin? You must have ripped these because you don't know anything about baseball. <laughs> Jacob the girl. <laughs> I'll rip this other Zion one. What is this? Is this like a bonus? Uh, yeah, bonus. Uh, open any pack in them. Should I open the bonus first? No, no, open the big one first. Everybody holds the, the album for the last. Is that the proper etiquette? Yeah, you have etiquette when you do this, bro. Is the good card in the bonus? I don't know. I hope so. Why am I so good at tearing packs? You were well practiced with the Pokemon cards. Put me on my game. Shout out Pokemon. Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to do some baseball. Let me do a little preview before I throw it on the camera. Yeah, on that, on that Luca, it is not 1K. Okay, I got a good one here. You got some heat? I got one heater. Here, you can put them up here. See if you can pull it here. You go, go through them. Don't show the heat first. All right. Right here. All right. Wendell Carter Jr. Wendell Carter Jr. TJ Warren. Mm, don't he, know he popped off in the NBA bubble. Jay Crowder, ex Jazz man. This is my next good one right here. Kawhi. The claw. Kawhi Leonard. Mm hmm. That's the best card. Cam Reddish again. Yeah. That's your guy. That's my boy. I don't that's, know why. That's your dog. There it is. There's the claw. Any Kawhi fans out there? Someone's is this saying 700 for Luca. Huh? 700 for Luca. Yeah, I don't think you look at the right one. Um, Man, the Mavericks are struggling this right now. Who, who is? The Mavericks. I keep getting glimpses of your Jordans, and I'm just really liking the way they look. Dude, I like those a lot, bro. I'm really liking them. I maybe want to wear mine tomorrow. Do you want to go out? Go out? <laughs> Both wearing them. <laughs> <laughs> How much could together? I get a pair of uh, size Oh, bro, for? this card's sick. Okay, here's my bonus pack. Come on. Wally. All right. Mark Gasol. I'm going to go switch out the battery. Moving out. Larry Nance Jr. And then look at this. Dwayne Wade, Olympic card. USA. That's pretty dope, man. Are you a D Wade guy? Uh, yeah.
Anthony Rizzo, DJ, JD Martinez, Orlando Bacara. You're doing some baseball. You're out? Yeah. Are you not coming tomorrow, are you? Yeah, uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow, what time? What time? I have another meeting tomorrow. And I, oh, I'm meeting with to go over the power room stuff in the morning, but I can pull out. Okay, you want to do like 11? I just have to let him know it. Yeah, just be here in the morning, uh, and then I'll talk to Natasha and uh, Pete about power room stuff. Mm -hmm. And then I think we start at 9, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, let's meet and figure out when I can like, break with these guys, 11, 11, 30, 12, and then we'll go to Finney. Okay. Or get these guys out and bring Finney over here. Cool. See ya. So do all the baseball cards come bent like that? No, it's just sometimes how they Cal Seeger, Ian Diaz, Joey Gala. A little bit worse. Oh, there's a Nolan. Uh, if you guys are baseball guys, there's a Nolan Ariano rookie. I think it's a rookie card. No, not rookie. Cal Seeger. And then here's that one. Is that guy is that guy any good? I don't know. I only collect the Cunha cards. <laughs> <laughs> Are any of these any good? I'll go through these. Matt Chapman's all right. Joey Voto's all right. Tim Was it Nolan Ryan? <laughs> I wish. Let me get an Aaron Judge out of here, bro. I, I do. Uh, there may be a stack of Aaron Judges in my, in my closet there. I oh. mean like a stack of Aaron Judges. Bro, this is a dope card. Ricky Henderson. It's like the X card. Let me see. That one's dope. You guys know anything about these right here? Kind of like the X. X factor. I need to get like, you're a shoe dude. I need to get a card guy that just freaking can open cards with me all day long and tell me Good, bad, good, bad. Hey, let's rip some Pokemon cards. Then you could tell me, huh? Yeah. I think that, I think that one, he's all right. I, just, I didn't even watch sports anymore, dude. Bro, Pokemon cards are so scarce right now. Can't find them anywhere. I like that Blake Snail. It's a refractor. My eight-year-old can name like all 800 Pokemon, or at least the first eight generations of them. Yeah. It's ridiculous. He's a big Pokemon guy. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're finished? Yeah. Oh, cool. You bring him on the show one day. All right. Yeah, quiz him. I'm sure um, he's smarter than you. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Those are basketball. Which one? The Kyrie or the Zion? I do the Kyrie. Christian Walker, Matt James, What do you think of the Nets this year with KD, Kyrie, and Harden? I know they, they brought in KD. So, um, and Harden, bro. Uh, that could go good or bad, right? I'm supposed to have KD on the show, dude. Are you serious? So uh, Kevin Durant is supposed to come on my uh, show as a guest. He is, uh, I work with his, uh, I already had his, his high performance trainer who mm -hmm. does his high performance training, like uh, Tim Grover. Mm -hmm. um, this guy, Alan, does it for um, KD and a couple others. So he's supposed to be coming on the show. Wow. Um, he's going to do the money show, and then I'll probably obviously have him rip cards and shit with us. Well, he's a big Nike guy. Oh, okay. 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 We're going to some basketball. Okay. 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 Got a little Joker action right here. You a fan of him? I mean, you got to respect the game, but you, I can't really like the Nugs because I'm a Jazz fan. But Matt, man, he is a good baller. That guy doesn't look like a ball player. Drew Holiday is good, but he got traded to the Bucks. What happens to a card's value when the player gets traded? Anything? I don't know. Hey, we got a little bit of jazz love right here. Second card in. Little Jingling Joe Ingles, baby. 
<laughs> Jinglin Joe, what a baller, man. Like Brandon Clark. Hey. He's good, man. Uh, the last pack I pulled, I pulled some uh, prisms with him. I think he's gonna have a good career. Lopez. I saw him playing summer league down in Vegas. Have you ever been down there? To Vegas, yes. No, for summer league, bro. No, let's go. Let's check it out. He said they stay the same. The value. Oh, okay. Chris Middleton, D'Angelo Russell. Ooh, D'Lo. You like D'Lo? I do like D'Lo. You like him? I don't know who that is. I got into the claw. Nikolai is Soko any good? I don't watch enough basketball, especially this bubble. I hate the bubble. Check out this. Is this card right here? Is he any good? Is that player just in general? No, he's not. Kawhi. We're not pulling any heat, bro. Must be something to do with you. Hey, maybe. Another quiet card. We need we need heat. Or I'm gonna I'm gonna have to kick you off the show. <laughs> okay. Hey, we got another jazz guy. I'm going to give you all the jazz cards because I hate them. <laughs> you hate the jazz? No. Just Trey really young. You might like Trey. I like Trey, kind of. I mean, he's good. I'm wondering if you got Walmart packs tonight. Uh, a bunch of these crap ones are. My The Paninis, the Prisms, uh, Mosaics are not. Joe Dumars, and I don't know who this guy is. Billy Keller. Oh, he's good. It's East Seibel. I think this is his third year in the league, maybe. Maybe he's a sophomore now. I think he's a sophomore now. He's good. I'm going to go to the football. Got a Jordan Clarkson card. He plays for the Jazz now. Is it Justin Herbert? And Taylor. T. Higgins. You like T. Higgins? Thaddeus Moss. Urban and Victor. Oh, that's my boy, Jerry Judy. I love Jerry Judy. Oh, man. He's a baller. There's Anderson and Van Grady. There's a Clyde Edwards. Oh, here's another freaking nice Jerry Judy rookie card. Mm. Love Jerry Judy. Um, Are you not an uh, Alabama guy? Who, me? Yeah. Of course I'm an Alabama guy. No Clemson? I'm thinking about bringing back the basketball team. I do like Dabo. I'll give you that. There's O'Shea Patterson and Justin Herbert again. What are these packs? Jonathan people. Those are the bonus packs out of uh, Prisms. You can open as many as you freaking want to your heart's desire. And we're, oh, there's a Tua rookie. J.K. Dobbins rookie. <laughs> Chase Young. Chase Young is good. Andrew Spoon. Those are Tua, Michael Pauline. Tua is good. Should be. That's a pretty cool looking card. I gotta not go freaking organize all these cards. This is why I don't like ripping cards. Because I don't like freaking organizing when I'm done with them. That's why you play Wally. Well, I wouldn't trust this guy with freaking my cards. No, I should not be touching any cards. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. <laughs> Where's he open this? Where's he have LeBron? God, I don't know what it's about Cam Reddish, dude. And then they're purple Cam Reddish rookie. You like car sounds? Not really.
So wait, are you a are you a Hawks fan? No. Are you an NBA fan? No. Not in general. I just enjoy cards. Dude, Jackson Hayes. I never pan out, did he? He's not bad. Got another jazz guy, Mike Conley. We got Brandon. another USA D Wade. Brandon Ingram. Ingram, he's good. He plays for the Pels right now. Kyle Kuzma. Hmm. Dude, this card's pretty cool. Look at this. Tracy McGrady. That's the old. This guy's like 94 right now. That dude's a monster. Yeah. I don't think any of these guys are good. Who is it? Tobias Harris. Tobias is good. Tobias? Uh huh. Staps Porzingis. Porzingis, the unicorn, he's good, man. You like him? He's on the Mavs. See, huh? Chris Brown. His son put your card up. Yeah. Tua card sucks. I collect Tua. That's the one you gave him. Yeah. I gave. I'm gonna start doing it again. I'm gonna start just pounding away, freaking giveaways. I'm gonna try to do it every Thursday, uh, every Thursday, from uh, five to six. So the goal is we got started late today, but my goal is to do four to five with sneakers, which is giveaways, and then uh, five to six Eastern time on card giveaways. Got a LeBron card here. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, I haven't seen that one. There's also a KD card in there. This is LeBron Prism from Panini. That's a pretty cool card. Tim Anderson, people collect him. I need to find me a freaking card collector in Utah. There's a Kevin Durant, KD. So. KD's having quite the year. What about that, uh, that guy? Any good? Shea Gildas Alexander. Yeah, he's a young dude. He's up and coming. He's pretty good. If you're a Tim Anderson, you might like that. Um... You think they're digging the LeBron card? Um, yeah, I bet LeBron is, is worth any roll or. That was called roll or. What do we call that, Chris? It was like. Y'all asked me if you want to roll or blank. We well, said one word there. Like roll the dice or take the card. Roll and go. What did I freaking call that? We played it all night long one night. I'm going to play it again if I can think of it. Roll or roll. <laughs> no, was it roll or roll? I know. That's what Chris said. Roll or something. I think LeBron James is probably the best card he pulled so far. Yeah, they're You're saying to sleeve it. Sleeve, sleeve it. I don't sleeve, sleeve it. Sleeve it, baby. Sleeve it. I can't afford his sleeves. <laughs> it was way too much. You have like 100,000 packs here. Oh, I just pulled a Jimenez rookie card. There's no way I'm going to sleeve them. Man, nothing smells better than a fresh pair of. I don't know. Why your name is coming as Facebook user? Oh, because he probably didn't accept the, uh, he didn't accept the, what do you call it? What's that program you called? Oh, because StreamYard? StreamYard. It's probably because you didn't accept StreamYard. You got You had to um, accept StreamYard to use your name. Yeah, this mystery Facebook user, the suspense is killing me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That Jimenez is pretty cool. 
Jim Anderson's pretty cool. Man, I hate ripping baseball cards. <laughs> Mike Trout. Oh, it's EJ. He was on here earlier, too. Oh, EJ. EJ. What's up, brother? Yeah, Chris, it's what we were doing. It was like, roll. You can either, I set some cards out, and you can either choose the cards or roll the dice or, you know, pick the cards. Mike Trout. Is it roll a pack? So you no, get a like pack. I or... set out like a card here. It was like, okay, you uh -huh. can have this card right here, you mm -hmm. know, worth whatever, maybe 80 bucks or something. Or you can roll the dice and see what's in these packs right here. And I'll give you a inside of these packs. Okay. But yeah. I called it a name. Like, what rhymes with roll? Stroll. Toll. It's card of kaboom. Bowl. Bro. Huh? Did you get another good one? I got your dog. Oh, he's back. Acuna. <laughs> another Acuna. Come on, baby. Here's a Mike Trout. It is gonna freaking maybe Corey remember what we were doing that night. Nothing right here. Oh mole. Wait, no. No, because I had to go with like you either roll the dice or pick the card. Like, or it was spin the dice. It wasn't spin. It was like roll or dice it or rice it. Cool. This guy's good. Dice it or price it? Francisco. Hey, Aaron Judge. You finally pulled one? Yeah. Finally got my Aaron Judge. Couldn't be happier for a person who doesn't deserve it. <laughs> I can find one person who doesn't deserve it more. What, or about, less. what about Wally? Yeah, I, I deserve Judge. it less. I don't even know who Aaron Judge is. See? <laughs> My my problem with him. I'm gonna text Corey. Maybe Corey. Oh, he's a know. golfer. I thought he's a <laughs> golfer. Ooh, Steven Strasburg, bro. Is that a good card? The illumination. No, prism in baseball is the worst baseball card. Prism, just as far as like you can categorize them out. They. Roll or roll or but this is a out of them is a good because it's a prism. That's for no man or prism. Well, there's a showy. So you are a Braves guy, yeah? Yankees. Oh, you're a Yankees guy. Yeah, you should. Are you a Yankees fan? Um, kind of, yeah. Dude, if you go to my closet, I have Glaber <clears throat> Torres, um, like stacks of like graded cards of him. And who's the other one I got? Aaron Judge. Uh, one more Yankee I went pretty big on. Who's Clayton Kershaw? I got a ton of Clayton Kershaw. Oh, Geo is really hot up and coming from the Yankees. I'm going to figure it out. I just texted a buddy of mine who's doing it with me. <laughs> Alex. What is the card to pull in baseball? Um, I, don't, I don't even know, dude. God, I got to organize all these freaking cards tomorrow. Jeez, crap. I do not want to do this. Oh, I got another Strasburg, exact same card. Exact same card, but that one's not a. Uh, that one's not a. It is a prism. Who in Utah freaking knows cards, dude? I don't know. Who in Utah does cards? You've been here a while. You have you been to a bunch of shops. There's only one shop around here. 
Got another Bryce Harper. What shop? It's called Mr. E's. Is it Mr. E's? Yeah, I've heard of him. It's been like 20 freaking years, man. Yeah. Where is it? Oh, in Warham. Just past my, my place on the right hand side. Do they have Pokemon cards? I don't know. I haven't been over in a while. He probably does. He's the one that bought the LeBron yeah. signed jersey. Yeah. He bought this like LeBron. What was it? LeBron rookie autograph jersey card. Mm -hmm. Back in like. Gosh, what was it like two thousand or something? Mm -hmm. Off of a guy who had on who had on the show just on a totally different. He does tiny houses, uh -huh. and you know back in the day collecting cards, and he just walked in there with his kid to have fun. Yeah, and like in like two thousand, and then opened a box of cards and freaking won a a, re, a redeemable thing. And it was LeBron rookie card, autograph jersey. Holy crap! Card and That's insane. Um, and the store owner offered him right there 800 bucks for it. He's like, I'll give you 100 bucks for it right now. Yeah. And he's like, No, dude, I'm good. I'm just, I don't, whatever. And then he ended up like, Mr. E hit him back like, you know, three months later and said, I'll give you $1,000 for it right now. He's like, No. And then he started going through a tough time. I like started losing a bunch of money or whatever. Mr. E called him back and said, Okay, fine. I'll give you two grand for it right now. And he talked to his wife. He's like, Sell it. So he sold like two grand. Oh. He looked it up and it's like some astronomical amount of money this car oh. is worth right now. Oh my god. I think he I think Mr. E knew, but you know, he didn't know. He's like back then he didn't know. He's like, it's just a freaking car. I needed the I needed the money, so I let it go for two G's. Oh. And in a coffee shop and uh, uh, a sneaker a sneaker card coffee shop uh in Connecticut. Oh, he's in he's the East Coast. A sneaker card coffee shop. You know, you know, I own a coffee shop, Chris Brown. These guys have no idea what I do. You see, oh, I, I didn't know, know what I do. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, who does? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and we've been live a while now. Mm -hmm. Having to switch out batteries. Be great if you get more organized. Here you go, uh, Chris Brown. Here you go. Uh, here, hit it on the top right here. So in a coffee shop right there. Yeah, I already own a coffee shop. It's called Because Coffee. Actually, a roastery. Um, and then we ship coffee all over the all over the nation uh, of uh, all kinds of crazy, crazy flavors. Um, but this is one I, I, I did this one for my events for my money is events. Um, but the, uh, the roastery is in Atlanta uh, where I used to live. And then I, uh, have it down there. It's got like crazy, crazy good flavors. If you like coffee, all a beans, uh, I, I had so many, uh, Okay, all right, so guys, uh, I'm just playing around right now, just uh, opening cards and shoes, just trying to get everybody back in the game. I got some cool, cool AC stuff coming out. Uh, I'm going to you guys test it first. It should be some really, really cool game-changing stuff for cards. Uh, just go to be, uh, Because Coffee, Chris. Go to Because Coffee, and they have like a monthly subscription you can get on if you want to. They'll ship it out to you, all kinds of cool stuff at BecauseCoffee.com. And then every time you buy a bag of coffee, they give it to a first responder. So uh, every time you buy a bag of coffee, uh, they will give it to, uh, they literally like, take it down to police stations or fire departments, uh, nurses, et cetera, and they give a bag away as well. So uh, that's because coffee, uh, one of the things we do. Uh, so again, every Thursday, let me think here, East Coast time would be six o'clock, right? Because shoe store starts at sneakers at four, yep. right? Sneakers at four, we get six o'clock, and then cards at seven. So from six to eight, we're going to be doing sneakers and cards, six to eight. Next week, we got our first giveaway. Next week, first giveaway are the Mocha uh, Jordan 1s right here. Next week, Mocha Jordan 1s uh, will be giving away next week. So be on the show next week. You will do some stuff that we did last time. You got to share them, uh, share the posts, et cetera. Then we'll ship them out to you uh, on behalf of Cooperative, which is Christian's shoe stories, open, sneaker stories opening down the road. 
and AC Sports. Sail the whale. The whale will sail. <laughs> the whale will the sail. Whale will sail. All right, guys. I'll see you guys next week, man. Have fun. We'll give some cards away and shoes next week. See you guys next week.